to get the sauce started. And like I said earlier, we're cheating because we are using canned tomatoes. I preheated the stove already. That's why you heard that sizzling and you want to do that. And because nothing goes to waste, I'm going to add just a little bit of water to rinse that off. Shake, shake, shake. Dance your favorite tune. Shake, shake some more. And release those liquids in there. We are gonna do, get a little on here. And we are going to right now add the oregano, the unami spice, and the thyme. All of that goes in there. And we're just gonna give it a good stir. We are going to let this go into boiling. And once it starts to boil, we are going to let it simmer. So we're going to keep an eye on this. And uh, you do want to use canned tomatoes because it is cutting your job by half the time. Uh, you can certainly use fresh tomatoes, but you're going to be waiting for that to come to this texture and then the time that it's going to be hanging out there. So keep that in mind. It is okay to cheat a little bit. Our sauce is simmering, not boiling just yet, but it's doing its thing. Beautiful! You see those little bubbling action going on there? That's exactly what we want. We are going to bring this to a lower heat. And we're going to cover this, partially cover. Just doing what it's supposed to do. A little bubbling action going. It's great. delicious. I need to add some salt and pepper and the butter goes in last once we have the consistency that we want and we want to let it hang out then we will add that not yet. Okay we're gonna cover it once I add the salt and pepper. Beautiful that's what you want. I'm not sure if you can see that. Quick. Can you see that? That's what you want. We're gonna turn it off and let it hang out. After all, this is gonna continue to cook because we're gonna use it in just one moment, okay? That's what we want. We're gonna stir this up. Now that it's turned off, we are going to add the butter. So we're going to do it one at a time. We can certainly do both all around, but we got to stir, so. Until it dissolves the butter, we can add the next one. Same thing. This is going to add a little nice shine to this and make it nice and silky and it's going to tone down the acidity level in the tomatoes. Now that it's turned off and we added the butter, we are checking it one more time for flavors. This is a good time to adjust the flavors. We're going to taste it. needs a little bit of salt. Perhaps a pinch of sugar to turn down that acidity once again. A little bit of the garlic. I don't think it needs too much of it. Remember, we've been tasting it. So we have another little small spoon. I'm just going to add 
up the smudge. Everything to paste. garlic because of the sugar content in there does not need to cook too much so with the heat that's simmering and don't forget the sauce is going in the oven with the meatballs too so no double dipping but I'm going to do this and now we get to taste it okay much better And there you have it, a beautiful, delicious, homemade tomato sauce.